What's up guys, it's Mike from Jersey Connect and today we're going to do a baseball jersey video. So, you know, the season's in full effect, it's starting to go, get some exciting games here and there, but man, I'm a huge diehard Yankee fan, but I had to add this guy's jersey to my collection. I picked up the Shohei Otani Los Angeles Angels jersey. Funny enough, I heard about this guy in 2016, so I was actually in Japan and I was traveling and I went to a bar, I was getting drunk, it was having a good time, and then you meet a lot of international travelers, and I got to talking about baseball, and this guy showed me like, look, this guy's split finger is nasty. And you know, he was like Japan's top, one of the top prospects, and look at him. Fast forward, 2018, this guy's in the league, rookie of the year, and now he's kind of taking off, taking a step in the right direction. I definitely have to go add this jersey to my collection. I don't think I'll wear it, but definitely something I'll just store and keep and hopefully be a pretty penny in the future. I ended up buying the Nike replica version of the jersey. So with baseball, they have like the Nike replica and then they have the authentic. So it's basically their version of the Swingman jersey for baseball jerseys. So if I use that NBA reference, so Swingman, Nike replica for baseball, they have the authentic, authentic, yeah. So in today's video, what I'm gonna do is unbox the jersey, take a closer look at the finer details, and hopefully help you decide if you wanna purchase this or pass on it. If you guys find this video helpful or entertaining, an easy way to support the channel is just by hitting like, if you wanna hit subscribe, and I also have a notification bell so when I drop new videos, you don't miss out. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing. So, fanatics.com, 135 bucks. All right, here's the first look. Boom, right there, we got the angels. I don't really collect Nike baseball jerseys too often. I usually stick with the Yankees, but I'm gonna start sprinkling some of these favorite players I like to watch, Otani. So I try to catch every start that he has, or if it's just casually on TV. I wanna see this guy pitch, it, it, he is dope. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. Starting off at the top, so you got the MLB logo, and that's actually stitched down to the jersey. Then when we go to Otani, we got lettering, the red base with the black trim. It may look like it's stitching, but it's actually not stitched. It's just a design. And that is actually heat pressed. So it's like the Nike Swingman versions. They're all gonna be heat pressed. We got 17. That is also heat pressed. They'll have that similar design where it is black with the red base. Looks like they have stitching, but no stitching. Nothing on the sleeves, no patches or anything on this jersey, but that is the back of the jersey. So right here in the neck label area, we got genuine merchandise, medium, Guatemala, and the Nike swoosh. And that is actually kind of like it's heat pressed onto the jersey. Then we go to the Nike swoosh. It's also actually heat pressed as well. Red swoosh, you got the buttons that run down. Pretty standard stuff. And then when we go to the angels, the lettering here, so there's actual stitching onto these parts. That's the one thing I don't get. If you're gonna stitch the part here, why don't they stitch the back? You see the stitching, angels. And then when we go to the jock tag, it's pretty much all heat pressed. Same thing as the neck label, same similar information. Then we go to the retail tags, 135 bucks, medium, Nike. And on the opposite side, you got standard fit, you got the genuine merchandise, their little sponsors, MLB player's choice. You get these tags and that is the front of the jersey. And this is what it looks like when you wear it. So on 5'6", 170 pounds. I went with a size medium, that's my shirt size. And this is what medium looks like. So if it's pretty much true to size. You got the front side of the jersey. You got the little side panels. There's really nothing, no side panels on baseball jerseys. But you got the back. And that's it. These Nike jerseys are pretty similar to when Majestic made it. So Majestic, they had those cool base mesh and they had the flex base mesh. They're both lightweight, moisture wicking. Nike has the same pretty much material. I bet they're kind of using like dry fit type stuff. So, but they are pretty lightweight as baseball jerseys are usually pretty lightweight. You know, something that you'd wear in the summertime and fall. The drawbacks that I do have with these jerseys are that you get stitching in the front, which is dope. 
But everywhere else you don't get like the stitching, like on the numbering and lettering back here. Another drawback is gotta be the pricing. I know I'm nitpicking. I know throughout the years, you know, prices will always go up. You got cost of living, all that good stuff, manufacturing things, these things go up. So I'm not surprised at the $135 price point. I was just used to paying that $120 when I was buying Majestic jerseys. This is pretty much a jersey. Thank you guys for watching and on to the next video. I'm gonna go lock this up in the vault. Hopefully this thing will be worth a pretty penny in the future.